Today I'm going to show you how to install a 3-in-1 start kit. 3-in-1 start kits are used whenever you have a compressor that won't start up. Every couple of minutes you hear a clicking sound. Um, I use a 3-in-1 start kit to start compressors up and this is the generic one that I use. It's, random, it's recommended that you actually use the OEM um, components to put back on a compressor. But uh, I like to keep these generic 3-in-1 start kits sometimes just to get it up and running until I can get the actual original part that goes back on there. And sometimes if I have an older refrigerator, older freezer, I'll put the 3-in-1 start kit in. Um, it's a little cheaper than going back to the OEM. And I don't have to carry but this one part and it can actually get me up and running. So today I'm going to show you how to actually install a 3-in-1 start kit. If uh, you get to a point where the actual compressor is not turning on, um, every couple of uh, every couple of minutes you hear a clicking noise like the compressor is trying to start That's an indication most of the time that your uh, Your starting relay is bad. This is where your starting relay is located Right here, that's the comp uh, Capacitor right there on top of it. I'm gonna pop this off right here Okay, so what you would do uh, right here on this uh, starting relay What you would do you would actually uh, cut these two wires when you cut these two wires right here You're gonna have two wires on your actual starting relay I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you I'm gonna put a starting relay a three-in-one starting kit on this one That's really Okay, so what you want to do, you want to cut these two wires that's coming to the actual compressor. Make sure you have it uh, cut off, and then you're going to actually strip the insulation back on it, like this. And here, you have two black wires, and it actually tells you right here on the diagram how it actually wired. And these right here, it doesn't matter which one goes where, what hot and neutral. Um, just take one wire that's feeding into the compressor and put it on that black wire. Take the other one and put it on the other black wire. All right, the next thing you want to do, if you look right here at the actual uh, terminals on the compressor, and if you look right here on your sheet, you want to match it up. So if you see right there, if I put that right there against the actual terminals on the compressor, I got them actually lined up the same way, and I want to go to that color. So I see here black is in the middle, so I'm going to take the black wire right here, I'm going to put that on the middle. I see the white wire is over here on the left hand side, so I'm going to put the white wire there. And I see the red wire is right here on the right. And I'm going to put them on and I'm going to make sure none of the terminals are touching, which they aren't. And then you're going to take your actual starting relay, your three-in-one starter, just get it out the way. And then you can turn it on and we should hear the compressor start. There you go. Compressor is up and running. And that's how you actually put in a three-in-one start kit. Boot camp. We teach you how to start your own appliance repair business. We teach you how to get contracts, how to allocate your funds, how to generate generational wealth. We have an online course that teaches you everything you need to know about starting an appliance repair business. If you are a hands-on learner, we also offer hands-on training in our state-of-the-art training facility in Selma, North Carolina. We have numerous testimonies of people earning 500 to $1,000 per week part-time in less than a month after taking our courses. 
and over $10,000 per month after transitioning from part-time to full-time. Act now and purchase our course. Start your journey to financial freedom. Go to www.appliancebootcamp.com and join now. And remember, Appliance Bootcamp is a small sacrifice for a lifetime of satisfaction.